scary movies. October is arguably the best month for horror content. Well, not arguably. October is the best month for horror content. Obviously, all of the spooky feel and Halloween finishing off the best horror month in the year. Of course, this past year, that was no different. October of 2023 had a ton of fantastic new horror movies that added a lot to the horror genre. What's up YouTube, Zero here, and today in this video, I'm going to go over the four top horror movies that came out in October of 2023 that you need to check out. In this video, I'll count down from four to one in the order of how I enjoyed the movies, of course, from least to greatest, but these are the top four, so I really did enjoy all these movies. And at the end of the video, stick around because I'm going to give a couple of honorable mentions that you should check out as well. Before I get into the list, if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more horror content and do movie reviews and I do some video game content, so feel free to check that out as well. Without further ado, let's get into the list. Coming in at number four is Sister Death. This is available to stream on Netflix right now. The synopsis of Sister Death is fairly simple. After a childhood marked by a miracle, Narcissa, a novice nun, joins a school to teach young girls. Of course, you guessed it, that nun school, that church, whatever they join, whatever nuns join the coven that's more for witches, is not what it seems. What's fantastic about Sister Death is it really has a creepy atmosphere and the story unfolds very well. The story is very fluid. You follow this nun, Narcissa, and just everything around it is creepy, very well told, and keeps you engrossed from beginning to end. The ending was actually a little surprising and I completely enjoyed it, which puts Sister Death at number four on the list of the movies from October of 2023 that you need to check out. Third on the list of movies that you need to watch from October of 2023 is Suitable Flesh. Now Suitable Flesh is based off of works by H.P. Lovecraft. Of course, no stranger to the horror genre. His works have inspired great horror movies such as The Reanimator and From Beyond. Suitable Flesh is another movie now to add to H.P. Lovecraft's long history of being a part of the horror genre. The synopsis is as such. A psychiatrist becomes obsessed with one of her young patients, who she later discovered is linked to an ancient curse. So that's pretty straightforward, and there is a lot involved. This movie has more of an old school feel, honestly. I got somewhat of a love story slash detective feel back that you'd get maybe in like the 1960s or 1970s type of movies. And it really works well for this movie. What's great is not only is the storytelling fantastic, the acting is fantastic, and you really get a sense of fear of how the main actress playing the psychiatrist Heather Graham is able to feel and is afraid for this curse and her patient and what's going on while the characters aren't as relatable it has a really creepy vibe where this curse is taking a hold and this psychiatrist has to do what she must to survive it's an absolutely fantastic movie. Great storyline. While there's not as much blood and guts, it does have a nice creepy feel and a great story throughout. While this isn't available to stream right now on any of the major streaming, you can rent it, of course, from Prime or Vudu. You can also purchase it from Vudu as well. That's how I watched it. I purchased it from Vudu. 
I definitely recommend checking out Suitable Flesh. It's very intriguing storyline, and I love the curse and the feel of the movie, which puts this at number three on the list. Coming in at number two on the list is a found footage film that takes this franchise back to its roots. That's right, Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor. Now this is available to stream on Shutter right now and what lands this on the list is really everything. The story is fantastic. This is a fantastic found footage film. The characters are very likable. The Carmichael Manor itself and the entire feel of the movie is creepy and engrossing. And what the movie does a fantastic job of is not only giving great background on the main characters itself, but also great background on the Carmichael Manor, jumping back and forth between today and then giving some previous history on the Carmichael Manor and what happened. But let's jump into the synopsis. A group of cold case investigators stay at the Carmichael Manor site of the grisly and unsolved murders of the Carmichael family back in the 80s. After four nights, the group was never heard from again. What is discovered on their footage is even more disturbing than anything found on the Hell House tapes. So not only what I mentioned previously as to why this movie is great, but it also does a fantastic job of giving background, letting you get engrossed, getting you creeped out and scared legitimately for the characters and it also does a great job of going back to their roots of what made Hell House the original so great. This is a fantastic found footage film and absolutely one that you need to check out which puts it at number two on my must watch from October of 2023. The moment everyone's been waiting for Number one must watch from October of 2023, Totally Killer. Totally Killer is available to stream on Amazon Prime. It was released on Amazon Prime at the beginning of October. Well, let's talk about the summary and then talk about why this is the movie you need to watch. The number one movie you need to watch from October of 2023. When the infamous Sweet Sixteen killer returns 35 years after his first murder spree to claim another victim, 17-year-old Jamie accidentally travels back in time to 1987, determined to stop the killer before he can start. This is a horror comedy and the only horror comedy on the list. What's great about Totally Killer is it is not only funny from beginning to end, but there's also a ton of action and blood and guts. The movie is extremely fast paced. And like I said, it's not only funny, but there is a ton of slashing, a ton of action and excitement moments as well. Jamie, who's played by Kiernan Shipka, does a fantastic job and is an extremely relatable character. Jamie traveled back in time and Kiernan Shipka does a great job of portraying a 17 year old who probably would have traveled back in time. She reminds me of a typical 17 year old in today's world, which makes it even funnier. We always say, yo, you can't say that, you can't do that, it's not like the 1980s you think of when you tell your grandparents that. She travels back in time and is constantly making those jokes and it's absolutely funny and a great ride throughout the movie. So that is what lands Totally Killer at number one on my list. So now, let's go and take a look at some of the honorable mentions. But before I do, let me know what you think of my top four in the comment section. Let me know if you enjoyed all these four, if you watched them, or which ones you're gonna go check out. Now let's get into some honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is going to be When Evil Lurks. Now before you shoot the messenger, let me tell you why this is in my honorable mention category and not on my top four. I know a lot of people love this movie who watched it. 
there's one caveat to watching this movie. If you don't speak Spanish, you're gonna have to read the entire movie. That's right, When Evil Lurks is actually all recorded in Spanish, and there is no dubbed version. The reason why this makes my honorable mention list is because if you don't like reading during movies, you're not going to enjoy this movie. So that's why I put this in honorable mention. I didn't want to put it in my top four because you may not like reading during movies. So that's why this is here. But let me give you the synopsis. I know a lot of people love this movie, which is why I wanted to shout it out. In a remote village, two brothers find a demon infected man just about to give birth to evil itself. They decide to get rid of the man, but merely succeed in spreading the chaos. So this is a movie a lot of people loved. I recommend checking it out if you're okay reading subtitles an entire movie, or if you do speak Spanish. If you don't, this may not be the movie for you. Of course, I'm not a huge fan of reading during movies, so it detracted from the movie. The second honorable mention, I wanted to give a free to watch movie just in case you don't have any streaming services when Evil Lurks is streaming on Shudder. If you don't have any streaming services or maybe you don't have a couple of the streaming services that I previously mentioned, I wanted to give another shout out and that's going to be a Tubi original. Tubi is a free to download app and all the movies on there, at least as of making this video, are free to watch and it is an original it is dante's hotel now dante's hotel has a tenant in this hotel he teams up with an event planner to stop this curse that's plaguing this hotel it was a fun ride it's not the best movie on this list it may not even be in the top 10 best movies of october but in terms of being free to watch i wanted to give y'all something free it is a very good movie and was a fun ride. There was a lot of killing. There was a lot of slashing. The movie kept me engaged. While the acting was hit or miss with a couple of the actors, it was still a fun ride. May have not been as creepy as some of the other movies previously mentioned and was plagued a little bit, but ultimately is a decent watch and it's free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay spooky. Peace.